Welcome to the WW2 Collection. Today, we embark on a nostalgic journey back to the era of World War II, exploring a myriad of captivating photos that encapsulate the essence of those historical moments. Through these images, we'll delve into the rich tapestry of the wartime experience. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and feel free to share your thoughts and memories in the comments section. This photo shows a U.S. Army half-track anti-aircraft machine gun vehicle getting ready to be taken to the Normandy invasion on a U.S. Navy LCT in late May or early June 1944. It's the first of two photos. This photo shows a U.S. Army half-track with an anti-aircraft machine gun on a U.S. Navy LCT getting ready for the Normandy invasion in late May or early June 1944. This is the second photo in the series. In June 1944, in England, American jeeps were being put onto LCTs, while bigger trucks and dukus were being loaded onto LSTs. In June 1944, before the Normandy invasion, there were British landing craft, U.S. Army troops, and U.S. Coast Guard LCI, L, S all gathered in Weymouth, Dorset, England. In June 1944, Canadian soldiers are seen operating a portable Triple Pulse 10 20mm anti-aircraft mount, which is based on the Ehrlichon design. In June 1944, at Nas Isla Grande in San Juan, Puerto Rico, crews were seen working on PV-1 Ventura patrol bombers of U.S. Navy Squadron VPB-147. The bombers were being maintained, and rocket rails were visible under the wings. A photo from World War II shows LSD-357 loading vehicles in an English port, getting ready for the invasion of France, around late May or early June 1944. Photo of a P-61 Black Widow from World War II During World War II, American airmen were given a bloodshed with Russian writing on it. This was to help them if they had to land in Ukraine during their bombing missions. The chit was printed on rayon and was used during Operation Frantic, when they flew from bases in Italy and the United Kingdom. This happened in 1944. In early June 1944, Private Clyde Peacock and the 1st MP platoon of the U.S. 1st Army were waiting in England to get on ships to go to Normandy. Their job was to control traffic and take care of prisoners of war. In May June 1944, American troops were being taken to a ship in a British port for the Normandy invasion, and the Royal Navy's LCA landing craft were seen churning through the waters. A photo from World War II shows a Royal Navy boat, LCA 1377, taking American soldiers to a ship in a British port as part of the preparations for the Normandy invasion, around May or June 1944. In June 1944, in southern England, a photo was taken of a U.S. Army CCKW 2.5-ton 6x6 cargo truck with a Browning M2 machine gun getting ready to be put on an LST before the Normandy invasion. This is the first of two photos. In June 1944, in southern England, a photo was taken of a U.S. Army CCKW 2.5-ton 6x6 cargo truck with a Browning M2 machine gun getting ready to be put onto an LST before the Normandy invasion. This is the second photo in a series of two. A photo from World War II shows U.S. Army M4 Sherman tanks and other gear being loaded onto a landing craft, getting ready for the invasion of France, around late May or early June 1944. 